Hello! So I wanted to do a video today because I have a couple of teas that I have going uh, and I thought I would tell you about them. So what I've been doing, I've been drinking a lot of teas and as I get to the end of a tea, uh, I've been squirreling it away into a drawer so that I can do a review before I'm done with it. Um, there's a couple of these that I, I've been holding on to for a while because they're going to probably be staples in my, uh, in my tea collection. And um, I'm excited to review them because I feel like I do a lot of kind of negative reviews. And I will say like, I, have, I don't think I've had a single tea that I've like poured down the drain. I just, I, I am discerning with what I spend my money on. So it's gotta be a tea that I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So I actually have two of those teas here today. And then I have one that's like a meh. So, although I'm interested to try it again because I haven't had it in a long time and I'm gonna brew it up here. So I have one that I've been sipping on this afternoon. It's actually kind of cool, but I did that on purpose because this is one that's good, hot or cold. Mm. So this is Merry Mistletoe by David's Tea. It is often on sale tremendously on their website. So David's Tea, um, I enjoy. It is not my favorite tea company. They use a lot of stevia. Don't love that. Um, and they're rather expensive, except when they have sales. When they have sales, they are absolutely one of the most reasonable um, companies around to buy from because they all have 70% off sales. So like this, I think was 270 for 15 um, tea bags. And these are tea bags. I will show them to you. And I like to have tea bags around. Um, I bring tea to a rehearsal that we have on a regular basis. Uh, we have uh, some water there and everybody likes tea and so the tea bags especially the David's tea bags are kind of nice to bring as a special treat for the people at rehearsal so this smells really good mm. I don't know what it smells like though well, let me read the ingredients and see if that helps me and, and look reading glasses so to get the lighting for the video good when I'm in I am on the at the bar in it's not a bar yeah it is a bar okay we don't use it like a bar but it is um, I have to turn so the light in the kitchen ahead of me is on but the light behind me in the dining room is not on and so I cannot read things without my reading glasses so this has apple pieces and it's the apple that I smell Raisins, hibiscus blossoms. A lot of people don't like hibiscus because it's rather tart. I like hibiscus. Uh, natural cranberry apple flavoring. Cranberries, which is cranberry sugar, sun sunflower seed oil. Cloves, apple slices. Oh, I wouldn't have even known there was cloves in here because I'm not a huge fan of cloves in tea. Cinnamon sticks, mistletoe, white tea, rose petals, cranberry pieces, and stevia. So uh, at rehearsal, I had to warn people that it had stevia in it because stevia can give a headache, give a lot of people a headache. My mom can't drink it. It doesn't bother me, but a lot of people are very sensitive to it. So this Ooh, ooh, ooh. reading white on this teal is hard for me. So this is 12, brew 12 ounces of tea at 195 Fahrenheit. So it says to brew it a little bit um, cooler than I would most of my teas uh, for three to five minutes. And I'm sure that's because of the white tea that's in it. I brew it hot and it's fine. <laughs> Sip me under the mistletoe, feel merry and bright with this tart and juicy white tea, strewn with soothing mistletoe, wholesome red cranberries, and a kiss of cinnamon warmth. So even though it has white tea in it, it must not have much because it has no caffeine. 
So I have realized that with all of this tea drinking, I'm actually giving myself headaches with all the caffeine. So I am, I actually made a, another small tea purchase. There's a local tea, it's not where I live, but it's in my state, um, Dominion. I, I live in Virginia. Um, it's called Dominion Teas. And I am, I placed an order with them and I ordered a lot of herbals and decaf so that I can drink my teas without having caffeine. I, I used to always switch to decaf after noon, but since I've been on this tea kick, I've been going a little tea crazy and not always sticking with that. Mm. So I love this. <laughs> I think this is delicious hot. I think this is delicious cold. Um, I am a big, big fan of Mary Mistletoe. Uh, I don't know that I'll place another David's Tea order. Another big issue I have with David's Tea is that I believe it is $69 before there's free shipping. Mm, I don't always want to buy $70 worth of tea and I hate paying for shipping. <laughs> I love that tea. I really do. So. We'll see. I may, I may stop. This is, this is my second box. So they did have a huge Black Friday sale and I bought a bunch of 70% off teas. So <clears throat> I, I may keep that at least in the winter, you know, when they have sales on it, I may keep stocked up on that. Cause I really, really like that one. I may buy it in bulk at some point because it, my guess is it'll probably go away over the summer, but it would make a really fabulous iced tea. I don't usually drink iced tea, but I will let my tea get cold and drink it cold, and the Merry Mistletoe is so good for that. So oh, I am gonna brew up the last tea that I'm going to drink. I'm gonna drink another one in between, but I'm gonna brew this while I talk about that one. This one is Chocolate Truffle by Adagio. So this is one of the first teas that I got from Adagio. In the first shipment that someone sent me, I got, I believe, their like monthly subscription, which had four teas in it, four of these. I like these little sample packs. It gives me like, it says five cups of tea, but I would say it's six or six. I mean, it depends on what you're considering a cup. I, I have this whole pot full. So, I don't know. It gives me a lot of tea, and it gives me enough to really taste a tea and figure out if I like it or not. So, oh, let me show it to you. It smells amazing. So I think that's part of my struggle with this one, is I want it to taste as good as it smells. It smells so chocolatey. Oh, I just want to chew on it. <laughs> but, um, and I'll talk about this more as I drink it. It doesn't taste like that. Um, but I also haven't had this. Like, I haven't had this in a couple of months now because I drank it very quickly because it was kind of my first little foray into Adagio teas. And so I didn't have a lot of other teas and I drank it pretty quick. Um, and I, it, I just wanted it to, to taste like a chocolate truffle and it doesn't. But now that I have had it for a while and I've had some more Adagio teas, I may be more accepting of it as a tea that is slightly chocolate flavored. The other thing I may do with it is um, I have found with a lot of their chocolate teas, add a little bit of cocoa, um, or actually like hot chocolate mix with some sugar in it, and it's fabulous. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna drink right now. Also, did you see what a pretty color the Merry Mistletoe was? It's like this pinky red, I love it. So this is a really nice color too. I have to look this one up because for some reason I've like totally worn off the um, writing on it, so you, I don't even know that you can see it. So it's a peach oolong. I love this tea. I'm actually gonna get um, like a three ounce bag of it. It's in my uh, cart to get. So this peach oolong is made with the darker, more oxidized oolongs of Taiwan that are known for having lush, playful flavors. Deep floral, honey, and juicy 
it's not uncommon to have a lovely cup that's almost like a succulent slice of peach. Why not let the tea play with some actual peaches? Fragrant and sweet like a peachy ripe fruit with a smooth astringency and lingering floral aroma. So this is steeped at 212 for three to five minutes. And I will say this is my second steep. I steep this one almost, I usually steep this one three times and it holds up every time. I think by the third steep, it's a little bit more oolong flavor than peach flavor. But um, one of the things I like about oolong, they don't have as much caffeine. Um, they're fermented. So I think they're very good for my gut. Um, more fermented foods in my body, the better. And it's this it smells so good it smells so good so this one i don't know if i can show it to you i might let me see if i can show it to you i don't know if you can see it in the bag but it's got these really pretty little yeah you can see that okay so it's got these pretty little like flower buds in it let me try to find what's actually in it for some reason they put on the website, they put that information at the very, very bottom. Um, blended with oolong tea, natural peach flavor, apple pieces, marigold flowers, that much must be what the pretty leaves are, and peach pieces. And it says, this highly oxidized Taiwan oolong asserts itself when blended with the intensely floral, juicy summer peach. The result is a smooth cup with a whisper of astringency and a lingering floral aroma and aftertaste. China first began to grow them in 2000 BC and archeologists have peach seed fossils in Northwest China that date back to 6000 BC. Like so many of the world's wonders, the China peach traveled the Trader Silk Road, eventually finding a home in the Mediterranean and in Europe before taking the leap, okay, the boat, to Virginia, where a farmer planted the first peach tree. Lucky us. Oh, I didn't know peach trees were first planted here in Virginia. So, again, the first steep, you get really pungent peach flavor. The second steep, um, you get a little less caffeine in it. Not that it has a ton to begin with, but it's one I like doing multiple steeps because as it goes on, um, the caffeine gets less and less. So it's almost a decaf by the third steep. Uh, the oolong flavor comes out more in the second steep. You still have like a lingering peach note. By the third steep, it's mostly oolong, but I love oolong flavor, so I'm okay with that. And I kind of like that the flavor changes every time. If if I was having three giant teapots, I mean, I brewed this <clears throat> in my green teapot, that you guys have seen. And if I had three big pots that all tasted exactly the same, I don't know that I'd want to drink that. <laughs> that might be a little bit too much of the same flavor. So this is one, I got a sample pack, loved it. Bought, no, I got one of the little like one, one cup packs. I think they call that, I forget what they call that. It's not a sample pack because this one is the sample, the uh, 0.5 ounce is the sample pack. Um, I think they call it a single when you get the little one. So I tried that, then I bought the sample pack just to see like, do I really love this as much as I think I love this? I love this so then I'm I'm gonna buy a probably three ounce uh, and it's not that expensive I'm I'm really impressed with the cost of Adagio it seems really very very reasonable so the sample pack this this 0.5 was two dollars oh and the two ounce is eight dollars so um, I'm not gonna buy a 16 ounce I've only gotten one um, that was a 16 ounce because that was the only size that came in over a sample. And uh, I love it. That's the Chicoricino that I love. So, okay, I'm going to finish off this tea so that I can try this um, chocolate truffle. Mm. 
I'm gonna pour some of it in here. And again, I may, ooh, this, this, this teapot is being difficult lately where it decides it wants to pour all over the floor. Okay, and I'm gonna put the rest in my thermos so that it doesn't oversteep. <clears throat> and then I will tell you about this tea as it cools down a little bit. I'm having so much fun with these teas. So I was away for a week and I was missing my teas. <laughs> I actually brought some tea with me, but I brought tea bags because the house I was at, I wasn't sure if they'd actually have a teapot, and they actually do. We gave them a teapot from Malaysia, gosh, from 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago. Uh, but it doesn't have any kind of strainer in the teapot. It's, I think, more decorative than really a teapot you would use. It's one with the little tannic cups. Um, but I could have brewed a small amount of... Uh, Actually, that's what I should have done. I should have brought, I have a little strainer you can put over the tea cup itself, and I should have just poured through there, but I didn't think of it. I didn't remember she had that teapot either. So this is one teaspoon per cup, oh, for three minutes. So I, I did overbrew it a little bit, <laughs> um, but it's a black tea. I don't, I don't believe that. And I think I brewed it about four minutes. So I think it'll be okay. Um, this has black tea, cocoa nibs, natural chocolate flavor, chicory, dark chocolate chips, cocoa, and blue corn flowers. So I would not be surprised if I like this a lot more on this later tasting because I love chicory and I like chocolate. Yeah, I just don't get I don't get those flavors. And that's what makes me sad. It smells amazing. It smells amazing. Um, my guess is if I add a little bit of cocoa to this, it will be lovely. And that's most likely what I will do. I'll add some cocoa uh, and that will make it more chocolatey, but it's not bad. It just tastes like a black tea with a very slight chocolate flavor. I've had a lot of their, um, in the December community, there were a lot of chocolate teas. And there was one called, I believe, Chocolate Mint. That was one of my favorites, but I have kind of been underwhelmed by most of them, like, like this one, where they smell really, really chocolatey, but, uh, they really kind of just taste like a black tea with a slight flavoring. And as much as I love chicory, I'm wondering if the chicory is not doing this a lot of favors because chicory is kind of bitter. And when you think chocolate truffle, even though you know it's not going to be sweet, sweet, you want it to be a little sweet. It, that's it's candy. <laughs> it's named after candy. So I almost wonder if there should have been some, as much as I don't love red rooibos, it is sweet. If there should have been some red rooibos in it, or if there should have been something that, I, I really don't want stevia. I don't want them to add sweetener to it. Um, but again, I think the chicory and the black tea is making it more bitter. This could also be user error because I did overbrew it a little bit, only by a minute. Um, so I don't think, and, and again, I had this feeling before and I know I've had it before without overbrewing it. So I really just think it, it doesn't quite hit the mark. Again, I'm gonna be happy to drink this. I'm gonna add hot cocoa to it. And then I'm gonna be super happy to drink it. Um, it's funny because it's like 70 degrees out here today, <laughs> um, and it'll be back down to 50 next week. So this would be a more appropriate for next week, but, um, nothing will stop me from drinking hot chocolate. A 70 degree day will not. Actually, what I might do is, is have my hot chocolate out on the porch where it's 70. So it's warm-ish, but it's not toasty. Uh, because it's 
been chilly out and it's not that sunny it's kind of cloudy so a hot chocolate out on the porch might be perfect i might keep my insides warm even though my outsides aren't i i like heat <laughs> i like it to be 80 and 90 out so uh, i get chilly it's exactly 70 i don't think it's gone over 70 today so so but i'm excited that i was able to share two teas that i love with you because again i don't want to be a debbie downer like i like this tea look how pretty it is it tastes it smells like chocolate this is going to be one so there are a couple of teas that i have mentioned um, like the maple oolong that i don't adore the taste of but i actually love have sit having sit next to me um on the table because it smells so good it's like almost having a candle burning next to you and this one tastes like smells like chocolate um and it tastes like a nice black tea so i will be happy to drink this i actually may save the rest of this in my thermos since it will stay warm for more than kind of probably 10 hours i may keep it for the morning so that i'm not over caffeinating myself um but we will see all right i hope you are all doing well uh, i hope you're having fun with these videos i'm i'm having fun with them again there will still be role plays there will always be role plays but the role plays are much much more time consuming for me they require nobody being in my house for hours at a time and i don't get that a whole lot uh, especially with a busy work schedule so some of the time when my family's gone i'm working and it's yeah i mean i think most of us who are busy and have full-time jobs understand carving out a couple of hours on a regular basis especially for parents on top of that or caregivers or you know a lot a lot of us have a lot of responsibilities in our lives uh, carving out a couple hours when nobody's home and you don't have anything else to do not always the easiest but i can usually catch you know a half hour when nobody's here and drink some delicious tea with you so i hope you appreciate that and if you don't wait for the role plays i will make sure that i put the word role play on them okay i love you guys i hope you had i know i don't know when this will come out but i hope you had lovely holidays uh and this may not come out for a long time <laughs> but uh it probably will so i hope you're heading into the new year with uh some good plans not over committing but maybe maybe detoxing from some things and heading more towards things that bring you joy. So love you guys. Bye.